Welcome to Love Samantha Daniel Style here on Pal Talk for the next 30 minutes. We are going to be talking about love, dating, sex, and relationships. So each week I sit and I talk on and on and on about this stuff. And sometimes people chime in and say something, but not enough. So this week, I want to get a very interactive conversation going. So I know a lot of you in the room. I'm looking to the people who I know to get the conversation going so that other people participate as well. Because I like giving advice. And if you ask me any questions or says anything, then I have nothing to say back. So Mishmish38, thank you for raising your hand. What do you have to tell me today? Hey Samantha, how are you? It's good seeing you. And Samantha, I got a friend who lives in West Virginia. I want to get her in the pal talk. She's very, very nice and she likes me. I'm her favorite person. And Sunny looks like a giraffe today. Did you ask me a question? Or is that just the comment? Uh, dangerous. Oh, mishmish. Dangerous. Do you have a uh, question to ask me or comment to make? It's, it's actually a confession. I'm a compulsive flirt. I love beautiful women. I just cannot resist complimenting them. And it gets me into trouble all the time because, you know, I'm here online and then I'm talking to a woman and boy you know Abby she's absolutely gorgeous and then I just have to say something to someone else and I've even got my own flirt bot and it's just I can't resist it what can I do you know dangerous I think that that's really a lot of men um, a lot of men are like that, and girls don't like it. I mean, at the end of the day, innocent flirting is innocent flirting, but when a guy flirts, it's really not very nice. I've personally been there where I've dated a guy in the past who flirts just too much. And you know what? If I'm with a guy, he should think that I'm interesting and fun and sexy and compelling enough he doesn't want to flirt with anybody else when I'm around. And if he's choosing to flirt with someone else when I'm around, that means one of two things. Either he's not interested in me, or he is trying to make me jealous. Now, if he's trying to make me jealous, then okay, fine, he can do that for a little while. But he can't do it for that long because it gets annoying and it gets obnoxious and it makes a girl feel insecure. And if he's not interested enough in me, then I need to let him go and let him go find somebody else who he is and let me find somebody else who's so interested in me and so taken with me, he's not going to want to flirt with anyone else. And I think that if a person feels the need to flirt all the time, then that means that that person needs a lot of attention all the time. Why does that person need a lot of attention all the time? because that person is insecure and that person needs constant adulation and constant admiration from lots of different people to fill that emptiness and that insecurity inside and so what the person who needs to flirt all the time needs to do they need to find out what's missing in their life that makes them feel the need to get all that attention from all those other people now, dangerous, I'm not saying that you're insecure, that you have all these issues, but I think that generally speaking, that's usually the case why everybody out there who flirts a lot and who needs that attention needs it. And I've seen it so many times with men and so many times with women, 
just feel that need to constantly get that attention from random people all the time just so they feel better about themselves. But you know what happens? At the end of the day, you get all that attention, and then you go home alone anyway. So it doesn't really mean anything, because if you don't have somebody who you connect with and who you have connection with at home, who you're with all the time, then it doesn't matter if you get your rocks off for five minutes from random people. It just doesn't mean anything anymore. So that's the problem. You know, I see it sometimes with parties, right? So we throw a party, and when you're at the party, you're the hostess with the mostess, which means everybody is walking up to you and telling you how beautiful you look. And they bring you presents, and they give them to you, and they thank you so much for inviting me to your party. Everybody wants to stand next to you. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to be near you because you're the host. So for that whole night, you're flying, cloud nine, so much attention. But you know what happens after that? At the end of the night, the party comes to an end. If you're not with anybody, you're standing there alone. And you had this great party, and you want to talk to somebody about it. You want to do some recon on the party and go over all the people who were there and how much fun it was and what people were saying to you and what they were wearing and all those things. But what happens, you don't have anybody else to talk to. You go home alone. So at the end of the day, you can get some attention from other people. You have to make sure that you get attention at home as well and that you can make yourself feel good. It's not just about other people kissing your ass, but it's about you making yourself feel good within, to have that inner confidence that something that you did is great and that you are great.